yeah. Um, so what do we do? Um, uh, I don't remember. Uh, no, yeah. Good, good so, three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Now. No. So we talked about uh, the difference between uh, accounting and finance management. Yeah, uh, well and the different types of um, companies that can be set up. Okay, and good. And software. And uh, what is the difference between management accounting and financial accounting? Okay, so management accounting, um, well, the financial, okay, so the financial accounting is um, the record of every transaction, um, uh, all the um, um, the records that you can compare with um, the year before, and uh, so it's an actual, um, yeah, record of transaction of a company, whereas like the finance, whereas like the management is about um, the costs and what, like take decisions on what's going to happen in the future, um, depending on what where the money is going basically. So once one uh, the financial one is the account the financial accounting is uh, about the his uh, his is an historical um, and is a record, whereas like the the management is the the financial management is more about the future costs and where to put the money. Well done, great. So, which one is need to be a systematically record? Um, the financial accounting. Well done, financial accounting systematically, like a rule of debit and credit. Uh, different accounting standard we discuss. I mentioned international accounting standard or GAAP. It's called general acceptable accounting standard in UK. Every country have own accounting standard as well. So we yeah. need to follow them. But when we are talking about management accounting, which is a internal, so we don't need to follow any proper rules. You know, if we want to follow something, it's fine, but it's not compulsory to follow. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. So we discuss all this, and then we discuss about purpose of accounting systems. So we discuss about. Uh, transactions, primary, book of primary entries, and all. Yeah. And we discuss about ledgers, discuss about debit and credit debt clicks. Yeah. And uh, we discuss about accounting equation. We yeah. discuss trial balance. We discuss how many types of statement we prepare. Uh, this this two statement of financial position and profit or loss. Uh, yes, normally company prepare four types of statement: statement of financial position, statement of profit and loss, cash flow statement, and shareholder or capital statement. Okay. So we discuss, but these are two compuls. I mean, uh, four compulsory for companies or sole trade. Normally, we prepare two. So that's accounting standards. We discuss a bit. Yeah. Account going concern prudence, and then we discuss about manager's responsibility and difference between sole trader partnership. And limited yeah. So one of our learning outcome really uh, quite good. You quite well mentioned, but I think so. You not mentioned in your assignment partnership act. You know, eighteen ninety. There is any yeah. act which you can include in your assignment, or uh, if you like to prepare like a table. You know, like these things. You know, on the left hand side, you see there is a difference. Yeah. So mm -hmm. those. Yeah, you discuss quite good, you know, which is you differentiate few things. Maybe you can add it few more yeah. examples, so it will address you know the learning outcome properly. Then, okay, yes, all this we discuss. Then we discuss software. Yeah, Sage. 
we discuss how many countries and we discuss Paxis software. Yeah. And then we discuss accounting information, business accounting system. Yeah. So we discuss management accounting, discuss financial accounting, we discuss financial management, and we didn't quiz, but uh, we can do. Okay. So th those things we covered during our last lesson. We discussed debit and credit rules. So today we are moving forward and we'll start our second lesson and then we'll discuss further. So uh, we are doing unit five, which is on Moodle. Yeah. So all previous lessons there as well, but further I'll upload this lesson and I'll send you the link as well. So if you if we look at what we're supposed to do, and that's you know. So these things. So we have discussed during our previous lesson. No, sorry. So now we are not being fixed. So let's then we'll relate our discussion. So unit five. And we define purpose of accounting. Accounting provides the systematically record of the business transaction. We can track. We the accounting provide the financial information. Those help the hotel and tourism industry to make a decision, which you discuss already. Maybe a few things you can include more. <coughs> and we discuss about sole trader partnership. We dis and software different accounting software. Those are quite that will help you know to track forecast and make within a hospitality and tourism industry as well and quite good to be uh, keep the record of your uh, and the capacity levels and those sort of things you know we can look around as well so mm -hmm. that's all help 1.2 1. 1.1 1.2 1.3 1. 1. we discussed so today we are moving forward we already discussed about double entry bookkeeping record bookkeeping mean keeping the Part of the business transactions, which is we discuss about debit and credit rule, and bookkeeper record is to keep the record in the ledgers, and after ledgers, then uh, the account and job to be prepare the final account from the ledgers, like you know how much sale we have, how much purchase we have, no account and will prepare profit and loss from these state uh, these ledgers. Mm -hmm. So next today our discussion will be and um, will focus on uh, calculate and correctly amount of VAT on the purchase and the sales. How we can calculate the VAT? VAT is a value added tax in some countries called general um, general sale tax GST. So yeah. in so what's called in Italia is a VAT there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called IVA. Okay, is how much we have there? Is it fifteen percent? No, I think it's twenty-two. Higher than? Yeah, it's higher. high. Okay, so next now next is explain the role of the cash receipt, cash payment, and the bank reconciliation, which we'll go through and we'll discuss. You know, the cash receipt and <coughs> cash payment and the cash budget. We'll go through as well. And yeah. trial balance really we need to prepare, which I have few question bank, so we can pick, you know, and profit and loss account will go through in the following lesson. Sources of finance, budgetary control. So today, a little bit focus will be on the budgetary control. We'll prepare cash forecast here, 2.3 and 4.2 is slightly linked with each other. And okay. the cash budget we, is a 4.3 we need to prepare. Okay. Uh, let's move to our two-day lessons and then aims and objective of two-day lesson. So, uh, introduction to VAT, which we'll discuss. Uh, our explanation of difference between input and output tax. We'll discuss types of discount, what is type of discount we are entitled to get and why is it crucial to 
keep the record of these discount a settlement discount what is meant by settlement discount and why settlement discount is important and we'll go through the cash budget and the budgetary control which is one of the learning outcome 4.3 and 4.4 you know which address as well so what do we know about VAT and input and output tax do we know anything about um <coughs> well yeah it's uh it's a tax that uh, needs to be paid on uh, um basically everything that you pay that you buy um and i know that it can be different depending on um like if you are i guess i guess it's the same in england but in italy if you have a company you will be able to get this money back so you won't pay vat really um or you pay just a certain percentage depending on what um it is okay yes well then it is the input and output tax then yeah what is the difference between input and output in um it's what i guess um a company uh when a company buys something um that input output is when a company sells a product okay well done so in input taxes mean raw material will buy we make the finished goods from it and we pay vat as a company and that vat we can claim back from hmrc or in your country <coughs> revenue tax office as well so and uh, output tax is the tax which when we'll, s we'll sell our goods you know normally we collect the vat we normally consider as a debt uh, tax collector on the behalf of hmrc from customer yeah so vat as a tax on the sale and the consumer expenditure vat is a tax on the sales of the goods and the services there is a difference between value added tax input tax and output tax so input on the purchases and output mean on the tax on the sales so no. vat law in in the eu is governed by under the european union directive which are the brought into effect in the uk by state law value added tax act 1994 and annual finance act and other regulation issued by the government yeah so uh, in uk of course you know the eu legislation follows and uh, from 1994 and uh, there is a notice number called 700 which is the mrc normally we need to provide the tax return and that provide all the guidance about the registration of vat we need to be registered small businesses normally don't register for the vat there is a turnover if our turnover or the sales value is around 87000 from this year according to the finance act 2017 18 when turnover increased to 87000 when our sales reach up to 87000 we can register with the hmrc or we are expecting to be our sales 87000 we can register as a voluntary register okay it mean we can claim back VAT from HMRC and we can um, pay and we can collect from our customer if the company is collecting VAT from customer but they not VAT registered by law they can't mm -hmm. so they're doing yeah. like some company they collecting VAT from the customer but they're not paying to HMRC even they're not registered but okay. customer have a right to ask the VAT registration number and we can check from HMRC they are genuine reference number or not yeah so because we when we need to claim back otherwise we can't claim back yeah. so this is one of the link I put it there yeah what we need to do just copy this link and paste in the search box google yeah 
and you will see there this will open a box and it's called the VAT calculation is a little video okay so, which is mean 20 percent <coughs> yeah So now we have in a VAT, you know, but we don't know how much the amount of the VAT we paid within it. Okay, yeah. Normally we use the word inclusive VAT, exclusive VAT. So six mean, you know, because twenty percent is include, it mean it is a hundred and twenty. When we divide hundred and twenty divided by twenty, I make six. So we just directly divide by six. Now, can you repeat that for me, please? Uh, yes, because normally, mm -hmm. when I'm talking about the VAT is inclusive because everything is a hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. So it means is this is the fifteen hundred amount is a hundred and twenty percent. Yes, because twenty percent VAT is including in it. Oh yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hundred hundred and twenty divided by twenty is give us figure six. Instead of I'll times by, uh, you know, 20 and divided by 120, instead of that, I'll state forward, I'll divide by 6. Yeah. So 1500 divided by 6, so I can find out how much is VAT include within the 1500 pound. Yeah. So, so 250 is my VAT, 1250 is amount of the, like, you know, we bought an item which is cost of 1500, but actually, 250 which we can claim back from HMRC if you're traveling abroad outside EU you keep the receipt of your tax and you can show on the airport you are entitled to get the money back yeah like you're traveling to states and when you're anything you bought there if you're not consuming within a country you have a right to claim back yeah this is is that's the that's the reason you know we need to must you know the find how much is a VAT there, and we yeah, can. Right. Pay. 
So this is all about the video. Will we suggest explanation about which will do some activities as well. So uh, we'll do some activities just later on. First, we are looking uh, discount. Okay, what is meant by discount? When you have like um, when the original price is lower than uh, um, well when no when the final price is lower than the original price. Brilliant. So, so yeah. normally we what is the trade discount? What is meant by trade discount? Um, what is a trading discount? Yes. Um, some people call bulk discount, trading discount, trade discount. I'm not sure. Trade discount at the time of we'll buy in bulk, you know, like we are buying 100 pallets. Somebody can say, oh, we'll give you 10% discount. Yes? Yeah. Like, you know, you buy the Lucozit big pack of six multi pack and you will get the cheaper than other which is mean the yeah. discounting prices. So normally we say how much I paid. I'm not telling how much I receive a discount because at the time of the purchase is giving us a discount. So we don't need to disclose it. We only need to disclose it how much is I paid. Yeah. Then other is called cash discount. Cash mm -hmm. discount is recorded when the payment is being made and they gave us discount. Yeah. Like, you know, some companies if you pay your bills within certain days, next coming bill they will give you off. It's called prompt payment discount or settlement discount. Because we are making payment early than normal. Yeah. That's called settlement discount. So settlement discount is mean I'm paying if I supposed to pay within thirty days, I'm paying in ten days, it will give me two two percent discount on my amount which I supposed to pay. Yeah, when you pay early, right? Yes. Of course, they're getting the cash quicker and they can do the business with it. Yeah. And we should be getting benefit out of it. Yeah. Because otherwise, no point to pay early. If it's a 0% 12 months, I pay my amount early. Yeah. Because 12 months is a 0%. I only pay early because if they will provide me some discount, even I have a spare cash. Yeah. Okay. Then there is a there is a discount could be discount allowed and discount received. What is the difference? Discount allowed and discount received. Um, yeah. I don't know. Discount allowed. We are giving as a company discount, which is a for our business which is expense for the business we are giving as a company to discount to someone yeah discount received mean we are receiving discount which is our income for the business all right so yeah so the allowed one is a loss for the business yes and received is a income for the business yeah So like here is the value of the goods is 100 pound. If we'll pay within seven days, we'll supposed to get 2.5 settlement discount. So 100 pound minus 2.2 pound 50. So we supposed to pay 97 pound 50 pence. And then we can calculate the VAT as well. Yeah. We will calculate deducting the amount of the discount. Yeah. If we are deducting before that, VAT is supposed to go to HMRC and we are going to lose the money. If if it's calculated before the discount. Yes, if I'll calculate on 100 pound 20 percent, I suppose to be 120 pound. Yeah. So that's why I'll deduct my settlement discount. I did receive or not. I'll minus it 2 pound 50 first. Then I'll calculate my VAT. Otherwise, yeah. I'm paying VAT extra. Yeah, definitely. It's a 50 pence, but if you think about the millions, trillions goods, you know, worth of 
yeah, 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 yeah. income for HMRC or loss for the business. So we need to think about any question. Um, no. That's it called settlement discount. Okay. Next, we're looking the budget. What is meant by budget? Um, is um is what um can be spent and um like is a is a sort of like a planification on um what can be spent and I guess for the future. Yes, but it is a plan for yeah. the future. Is a financial plan. If we don't have a budget, we don't know. Like it's a provide a set nav navigation is provide us route you know where we'll spend how much we'll spend and when we'll spend yeah if we have a budget it mean we are blind so we need to be make a budget yeah <clears throat> so first thing when we'll make the budget budget is always based on something yes you yeah. can't make it budget with if we don't have any information so first thing to make a right budget, we need a good information system in place within our organization to make a budget. Good market research we need to do to make a right budget. In hospitality industry, we need to make a budget. Uh, how many customers like sale budget? We need to think about how many are uh, what capacity. Capacity mean how many rooms supposed to be booked? You know, we're working 80% yeah. capacity, 90% capacity, 100% capacity. So based on this, we could decide it how many worker required, how much material required, like we can make the budget for them. How much cash we need to be. Yes. If all customer pay, you know, we'll say to them and we advertise, do you don't pay this year, you can pay next year. Yeah. They will be very pleased. What we'll do because we need a material for it. We need a labor for it. With the cash will come, so we need to make a cash budget. Yeah. So before making any offers, we need to be look around and we need to. So first thing to make a budget is a forecast of sales in units. Like a capacity level, how many room if when we are saying 80% room capacity, uh, the rooms will be booked. It mean 80%. So 1% stays in each room. So it mean if we have 100 room in a hotel, so 80 people will stay 80 people's food we need to cook 80 people material we need to buy yes how many yeah. how much labor we require to make it food does it make sense yeah yeah and how much material we need to be and each dish you know how much is required to be material need to be uh, uh in term of the quantity so always when we'll make the bird we add the closing inventory and we'll minus opening inventory to calculate the budget Maybe we have the last period budget as well. Last month budget, we have some things left, you know. Yes, some stock we already have in our warehouse. So we have to consider it when we take the budget. Otherwise, it could be our budgeting. Okay. Budget will define precise target concerning cash receipt and payment. It could be cash budget, sale budget. Budget can be about the stock requirement, labor requirement, specification. We can look around. Budget help us. Why we make the budget? Budget help us to plan. Budget help yeah. us to coordinate between department. How many million you got? How many workers you have? What turnover you give? Yes, what productivity you have as a department? Yes, budget. So we coordination. If we if we have a budget, we can communicate with different department. If you perform well and you stay within a budget, you will be feel very proud. It will provide the motivation. As a manager, we need to cut the cost with the bonus. Uh, the bonus or the commission we are getting based on the performance. And if we don't have a budget, there is a we can't measure the performance. So budget is a sort of the control. Is provide the control. Budget help us to update the performance of individual as a department, as a company, and is provide the evaluation. Mm -hmm. So budget, there is a no hard and fast rule. We can make uh, yearly budget, short term, 
medium term and long term budget some people say short term mean one year budget medium term mean one to three years budget and long term could be three to five years or uh, even more depend upon the nature there is a no hard and fast rule in term of the time but we can call short term medium term and long term budget yeah like nhs people struggling waiting due to because there is an issue about the budget they not forecast exactly what the requirement nhs will be and how many doctors nurses required so that's all the problem due to the not properly budgeted for things so we need to think about we need to make the monthly budget we need to think about the quarterly budget and we need to think about the yearly budget okay budget and forecast budget is a plan not a forecast a plan is an intention to achieve a target where the forecast tend to be prediction of the future environment prediction yeah. time, you know, is difficult so this is generic discussion about budget then budget could be periodic budget every period will make the budget new budget or we can make the continuous or rolling budget every year we'll see you know inflation rate is a five percent everything increased by five percent so we required five percent more money for next year yes so that's a rolling budget roll and off we'll carry on making the budget but the predict budget you make the budget one period you don't consider the next period that's carry on then every time some people call zero base budget the budget which don't have a link with the previous periods we start every time with the zero. We everything we reforecast, recalculate. Any question? Um, no. Okay. These are the different example. Production department they make budget. Purchase department they make budget. Cash budget. There is a word constraint. Have we ever heard about constraint? um yeah yeah um it's like a limitation well then constraint mean limitation so sale target we have a limitation how much we can sell it yes how much capacity we have yes how many worker we have constraint could be labor material at the time yeah or the cash even sometime in some when so we need to look around the budget this is a step establish who will take the responsibility to make a budget communicate the guidance about the budget discuss about the limiting factor or the strain discuss about the area of budget in within a budget there are the limitation like we have a less engineer we have so we need to be best utilize our limited resources effectively to maximize our output mm -hmm. so review and coordinate the budget Budget committee must review a various budget to satisfy. So budget, we must communicate between department like we are quite constrained in term of the budget. So what I did, I put some activities for you. So let's, we'll see. So under lesson two, first we'll see the cash budget. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can't finish all, but you know, step by step. So this is a cash budget. Okay, this is a cash budget. Yeah. So we have a Brown and Co company. The following mm -hmm. budget we are going to make it six month. Yes, like assume is a until thirty first of the 12 2018 fast forward we can say okay and uh, we are going to make the six month budget we are forecasting the sales we are expecting in july august september october november december purchase how much we are expecting to buy how much we are expecting to pay towards wages how much we are what is the difference between wages and salary um the, i guess the salary is has got um, added taxes to them, maybe? I don't know. If you look the figures, you see the difference? Yeah, so it, 
Yeah, so I don't know. Salary is fixed amount. Yes. Yeah. Amount. And wages is hourly paid. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then salary expenses is a small other sort of expenses which we can put under the salary. Okay. What is it? Salary ex expenses is mean miscellaneous expenses, different sort of expenses. We don't yeah. upper heading. Don't need to make so many headings. I bought a chips. I bought a this. I bought a cleaning material. I bought this. Yes, and put yeah. it everything under one heading: salary expenses. So we are expecting this will cost us, you know, each month. And the cash balance we have at the first of October, fifteen thousand pound. And fifteen percent debtors. Debtors mean our customer to whom we sold the goods, but they will pay in the later dates. Credit yeah. customer. Yeah. So fifty percent debtors will pay end of the first month. And fifty percent will pay end of two months. We have purchases. Fifty percent, our supplier will pay them one month. Yes, fifty percent will buy from one supplier, and they give us ten percent discount, and will make the payment in the same month. And reminder will make the following month fifty percent payment. Yeah. Like you know, that purchases we purchase from the supplier. Fifty percent of twenty-five thousand. How much will be? Ah, uh, twelve fifty. Yes, twelve thousand five hundred and ten percent discount. We will get on twelve thousand five hundred. It means we need to make the ninety percent payment. Yeah. Fifty. Show you some calculation. And we need to buy some equipment in November, which we required a cash thirty-five thousand for it. And yeah. wages, wages will pay one week in a year. What is meant by a year? Uh, one one week later. Later. So this month, like in August and October, we have five weeks. So one week salary will go in the following month. Like one week, a gas salary will go in September. And September yeah. one week salary will goes in October, and October one month uh, one week salary will goes in November. Yeah. Three years. So now we, is a question. We need to prepare a budget, cash budget for three month ending on the thirty first. So let's will is already prepared. So have a template. template is already prepared so we just need to focus on the figures basically it's not a pure really we learning about and we just want to be get a good understanding how we can do our budgets yeah this is the template i prepare okay this is a blank template so let's i'll open the question okay uh this is a uh, second question this is the first one okay you see there this is we are going to prepare the cash budget yes we can put the period at the top we can write and this this sort of the example we could take the screen print or we can add it within assignment yes so you can change the no. figure because yeah. according, no. according to the learning outcome we need to be Construct and prepare our cash budget. Yes. Okay. All right. So I, I have to do this based on what uh, we just read, and then add that to the to the assignment, right? Ah, uh, no. This is you can pick any example from this, which I gave you two examples, like in this. You can change the figures, you know. Yes. I you can know, the change. Sales. You can put it hundred and fifty-two thousand for suppose. i you can put it 26000 yes is a budget you know budget is a just a just a plan yes for the future okay but no i didn't understand so what what do i like i need okay so um let's see I... this is your, this is your question you can say assume 
Brown and Co is a hotel, yes. Mm -hmm. They are going to prepare the six month forecast. Yes, six month budget. So I have to prepare that. Uh, yes. So what we can do? I'm giving you this example. You can change the figure and you can change the company name there. Yes. Yeah. You can put it in a this template and you can copy and paste within your assignment. That's it. And you can little bit explain what is budget this and that. All right. Okay. Did you get me? It's already prepared. Yes. If you want to change the figures, you can change a little bit, you know. So it's not. Right. Okay. Let's will do. According to the question, we have a purchases. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I prepared. We have a debtors. We'll say debtors. Debtors means the, our customer to whom we sold the goods. If you look yeah. the question, we have a sales in in. Um, Sorry, which one? Which one I'm doing? Sorry, I mix up. Just one second. Need to close extra files. Not mix up. We're doing the this number one. Yes, we're doing this one. Yes. Okay. So, that is in July. How much sales we have? Fifty-two thousand. Yes. If we look the question. In July we have fifty-two thousand. Yes. Yeah. So here we put it fifty-two thousand. So each month yeah. sales we'll put under this amount. Yes. Then then the policy we make it fifty percent will get in the month of the sales and fifty percent in the following month the cash we receive from customer. So fifty percent of fifty-two thousand is twenty-six thousand. Yeah, and fifty percent will get in the month of August. Yeah, in month of August, fifty percent will get month of August. Fifty percent will get in the following month. September yeah. sale, fifty percent will get in September. Fifty percent. So what we'll do? We'll just add them all the value of the sale in that month. How much money we're supposed to receive? Yeah, and then sub. These are the creditor mean the suppliers to whom we receive goods, we purchase, and twenty twenty five thousand worth of this purchases we supposed to make or will make, uh, or will buy from uh, one supplier, and will buy supposed to be in July. Yes, so twenty five fifty percent of twenty five thousand is fifty uh, twelve thousand. Five hundred. Yes, when you take ten percent discount on it. Yeah, that'll be. I don't know. I'll give you an example here. Twelve thousand five hundred minus ten percent. Eleven fifty. Yes, you're right. You know. So simple. First, you know the fifty percent mean half of it. Yeah. Twelve thousand. Five hundred. Ten percent discount mean is a ninety percent. I'll get of the amount, so I can times by point nine. It stayed there. Yeah. Is it right? Yes. So yeah. And the I'll receive. So I'll carry on doing. I'll yeah. Put, yes. So all the total, and then I'll do the total of each box. The wages one week arrears. So July we have a four weeks. So what I'll do, I'll divide forty one hundred total wages divided by four times by three, because three weeks we'll get pay during July. Yeah. So yeah. thirty. We'll carry on doing in a gas month. We have a five weeks. So we'll divide on five. Yeah. So one week will go there and remaining. So we'll carry on doing like this, and we'll do the total of wages, and then all this. What we'll do? We'll because we need to prepare the budget of only last three months. So we'll put the total purchases figure because we have a template there for total purchases figure in the. We'll see in October, twenty-eight four hundred. 
so that figure we can put it within a budget template yes then yeah. wages then salary salary is straightforward because it's a given figure salary expenses given equipment is a given which month is october and we'll do the total how much we're supposed to pay these are the payments yes yeah then we can put it in the month of october opening balance we have cash balance fifteen thousand. how much money we're supposed to receive due to, to the sale receipt if we look under the sale total in september 46 500 so we can put it we are expecting to receive yes total cash we have available 61 500 and total yeah. payment we supposed to make it 41 four seven five and remaining closing balance will be 20, 20 yeah. so that closing balance in the next period will be next month opening balance yes yeah and then the receipt and then we'll do total and then we'll take out the payment we'll carry on doing and in the month of december our opening balance is ever drawn with eleven thousand six hundred fifty because we that month we have a less cash so we need to arrange this money from bank yeah to our running expenses so that's you will see there is a cash closing balance is a negative there yeah this month. So this, so that management accounting or the budgeting will help us to be determine how much cash required, and then we can borrow the money in a specialty or any business is very crucial to be a cash. Yeah. Okay. Any question? No. So today we learn about the cash budget, and we discuss about. VAT, which is the value added tax. So we'll do some calculation of the VAT during our next lesson and the following lessons as well, and then we'll include it within our assignment. Okay, I put it example. I think so. Maybe we skip it. Uh, this is the material. If we'll buy it, 200 pounds. How much VAT will pay? Plus VAT, that make 240. Yeah. So 240 40 then we'll manufacture it and we we'll, the goods is worth of we add again VAT it is when we will sell it they will and then we'll collect the VAT and this example will go through in the next lesson full details as well uh, okay you can look around you know supplier of the material sell material plus 40 pound VAT yes VAT is a 40 pound will goes to HMRC manufacture manufacture the goods so but they will sell 440 pound 20 percent VAT on it so that will goes 48 pound but they will deduct the VAT they paid it 40 pound yes remaining because total VAT is 88 pound we supposed to collect it the VAT we paid when the material and the VAT we collected from our customer the difference we need to pay to hmrc that's only things there uh, which will go through any question today lesson so today we learn about value added tax we learn about what is the limit eighty seven thousand pound turnover we discuss input and output tax we discuss uh, a discount type of discount and we discuss today budget types of budget and what is meant by budget, what, why the budget is important in the hospitality and tourism industry. And we have calculated the cash budget and all you know the handouts which I already send you and lesson will be recorded and which I'll send you the link as well. And have a nice time. Nice. Any questions? No, that's, that's fine. So should I carry on with the assignment then, with this info? Uh, yes, please, you carry on. Uh, you can look around the learning outcome which I explain you as well so if you yeah. want to carry on just try to finish those and then when we'll finish our co uh, this unit uh, your assignment ready submitted happy days yeah okay so I'll send you as soon as I make it I'll, I'll send it to you as soon as I do it no, no problem I'll carry on giving you feedback and we'll carry on improving things all right Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much.
have a good weekend enjoy yes. your time thank, thank you. you bye, bye. bye.